Boom, let's see how we're looking. All right, we got cheese starting to stick. Let's give her a flip. Oh, buddy. Look at you. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Griddle Grub. Today, we are going to make a chicken fajita quesadilla. We got some really good ingredients, so come on in, check those out. And we're going to get this chicken marinade right here. All right, so right here we got this marinade. And I got everything, all the quantities and everything in the description. This stuff is oh, so good. So what we're gonna do, we got the chicken in the bag. Just gonna open it on up, dump it in. Get all that stuff in there. All right. Just seal it up, mix that stuff all around. Ooh, buddy. It's all mixed up real good. Now, yeah, that's all you gotta do for the meat to get it ready. All right, so that's how you just get it all nice and ready to go. Now I'm gonna let this sit, get it, you know, let it get closer to room temperature. I'm gonna let it sit for like, like 15, 20, uh, like 20 minutes. And yeah, we're gonna get cooking after that. Now, there's the meat right there. We got a whole bunch of veggies we're gonna throw on here. Some red, green, orange, bell pepper, and onion. We got some fresh lime, cilantro, some uh, chihuahua cheese, and some tortillas. I mean, it's gonna be a real simple cook. Should go pretty fast after this stuff's done. And then we're gonna eat up. All right, everybody, welcome back. So I did some recording and stuff, but I forgot to have the mic on. So all I've done is put the veggies on, season them with some garlic salt. That's about it. And we're actually getting ready to take these veggies off. Because the onions and the peppers are looking good. Oh, man, they smell delicious. So I'm just going to move them over here. I have these two burners. They've been off the whole time. The temp is at 190-ish. Uh, so they're gonna stay nice and warm. We added the jalapenos right here. Those are looking good. All right, now it's time to get down on some of these, uh, some of this chicken. All right, so there's our, our chicken right there, all nice and marinated. I'm just gonna dump it on out. So the olive oil is gonna help it not uh, stick too bad, but it's gonna stick because of all the seasonings that I have in there, which is all down below in the description. Gotta move this stuff around. I have, these two burners are on high, by the way. So we're just gonna move this around, spread it out. So some of these pieces, as you can see, they're pretty big. I bought this stuff pre-cut. They say it's stir fry ready. A little big, a little big, some of it, but a lot less work. Don't have to cut that thing up, that chicken breast, or you can do chicken thighs, whatever you prefer. And you don't have to do the marinade. You can just put the chicken on and uh, uh, season it on the griddle. That's perfectly fine too. I've done that uh, with all the same ingredients. Just put it on after the chicken's mostly done. Not all the way done, just so it can cook together a little. Ooh, damn. Got something in the eye. All right, let's take a look at some of this chicken. Ooh, buddy. Oh. All right, so there you go. Boom. Now it's almost done. So what we're going to do when this is done is combine the veggies with the chicken. All that seasoning is going to get all over the veggies. We're going to move it all back over here, clean this area, and that's where we're going to build our quesadilla. And... It is going down from there. Whoa. Let me 
these jalapenos are smelling amazing. Man, this is this is where it's at right here. All right, flip these jalapenos. Ooh, baby, we got a nice little sear on them. So the chicken's done. So what I'm gonna do? Man, some of these pieces are kind of like fat, but I don't want them to be that fat. But you know what? Let's just mix it. Let's get it going. I don't want the chicken breast is easy to overcook and you don't want no dry chicken. It's just not good. Alright. All this delicious smelling chicken. Buddy. Get it all mixed together. Boom. You know what? In some of these pieces that are too big, I'm going to have to just cut, which I just use my spatula to cut them down. No big deal. So, that's a lot of goodness right there. Just keep it over here. Oh, baby. All right, now, you know what? I'm going to turn this one off, too. So, these three are off now. This one's on high. We're rolling at, like, 450 over here right now. So what I'm gonna do is just clean this up and it's time to build. All right, so we got some oil down right here. I'm just gonna wipe it around a little bit. Make sure we got a nice good surface for the tortillas. Boom, boom. Now I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna leave them on there long. Just wanna get them softened up, a little pliable. Maybe get the uh, bubble starting a little bit and then give them a flip. Time to build from there. Get that cheese down. Get a good amount on there, or as much as you like. I love me some cheese. So that's how I do it, and I pop these bubbles a little bit too. All right. Let's throw down on some of this meat. This delicious meat. Now we got some cheese. I want some cheese, baby. All right. We're gonna plop that right on top and let her cook. Boom, let's see how we're looking. All right, we got cheese starting to stick. Let's give her a flip. Oh, buddy, look at you. All right, this bad boy's ready to eat. Let's get down. All right, let's dig in. A little sloppy. Oh, that is good, I'm telling you. Get some sour cream salsa or guacamole or something. Dip this in there. But I'm telling you, this just like this, fantastic. Mmm. That is really good. A little hot. Bugs. That's all I got, guys. I mean, this is delicious. There's nothing bad about this. That creamy cheese got just a little uh, bite from that uh, uh, the veggies, the peppers, the onions are delicious. And that chicken, that seasoning is phenomenal. I 100% recommend you try it. And if you do, let me know because, man, it is delicious. That's all I got. I appreciate you guys coming by. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Let me know if there's something you want me to cook. See you on the next one. Thanks.